Hi guys, so here we go. Autumn has come. Today we're gonna talk about different coats for different body types. I'm gonna leave the link down below on the video called Body Types Test and another video called 13 body types. In order to understand what we're talking about today, we're not only talking about how tall or small we are, how hourglass or how triangle we are. Because what if the, if the woman is tall and hourglass? It's not the same as small and hourglass. It's completely different body types. Of course, everybody is unique, but every body type has a tendency to go with it to this category or to this category, depending on how accurately you're gonna do the test. So we're gonna talk about your best coat, the coat exactly for your body type. But that doesn't mean that you can't wear other coats. But you just try, just try and compare. In many cases that gives a massive change, especially if you are the one who just feels not comfortable in, in silhouettes, just seems like nothing works. So let's start. If you are dramatic, look tall and long and straight, have sharp bones and sharp or prominent facial features, you will look amazing and fresh in tailored and sculpted coats with very defined shoulders. Best if the coat is long and slick. Long vertical lines is your thing. Be careful with anything rounded, overly draped, it will look separate from you. Also be careful with something too delicate or overly fragile. It can be too noisy and just distract from your clean and strong features. Ornateness can look a bit fussy on you. If you are soft, dramatic, if you look tall and curvy and maybe fleshy, with large bones and have full or exotic facial features, long rounded lines work well for you. Draped fabrics, soft draped details, labels, pockets look amazing. It should look like you wrapped your luxurious curves into a big blanket. Be careful with two sharply tailored coats, it can make you look heavy. And also delicate and fussy coats can look separate from you. They are more for petite women. Better choose bigger elements. Also be careful with two wide, unconstructed and shapeless coats. It can blur your silhouette. If you are natural, if you are moderately tall with blunt, angular bones, maybe wider shoulders and a bit straight and angular facial bones, unconstructed silhouettes work best. Relaxed shapes, elongated coats, textured surfaces. Be careful with severely tailored styles, can look too strict on your natural bone structure. Be careful with flouncy styles, peplums and knitting waists, can look a bit ungraceful on you. If you are soft natural, if you look moderately tall, with slightly soft and curvy body, but a bit angular bones and a bit square shoulders, and might also have a bit softer face. Coats should be unconstructed, soft and better showing the waist, but not necessarily emphasizing it. This can be a coat that is shaped through the waist or it can be belted. Be careful with severely tailored coats. They can look too heavy on you. Same with too heavy, big coats. Be careful with flouncy coats that are overly fitted and trim, can look unsophisticated on you. If you are a flamboyant natural, look tall and muscular with wider shoulders and angular strong face, maybe a bit straight in figure, coats should be long, unconstructed and loose. A rough surface of the fabric would look amazing. Necklines should be loose and open. Be careful with waist emphasis. It's not always helpful to you even if your waist is small because it destroys the strong vertical line that is the core of your silhouette. Be careful with sharp, tailored detail, can make your body look a bit harsh. Be careful with small, ornate detail, because as a contrast, it will look separate from you. Also be careful with animated, cute detail. If you are classic, if you look moderate in everything, evenly proportioned and symmetrical in body and face, you will look very sophisticated in narrow and tailored coat with a smooth outline. Lightweight, unconstructed coats are fine when they are narrow. Overly angular coats can look too stiff on you. Oversized or boxy coats can look separate from you. Be careful with too flouncy coats, with peplums for example. They can bring too much noise and distraction from your moderately built features. If you are a soft classic, if you look moderate and symmetrical with some soft or rounded edges in body and face, Coats should be softly tailored with curvy shaping, 
Again, such details should be subdued and understated, not fussy or overdone. It will be too noisy and busy for your clean and soft features. Be careful with overly tailored, sharp-edged, stiff coats. They will look cold on you. Be careful with wide, boxy coats that are unconstructed. It will ruin the silhouette and your accurate structure. If you are dramatic classic, if you look moderate and symmetrical in everything, but a bit sharp or angular in bones and facial features, coats look best when they are crisp and tailored, with sharp shoulders and elongated line. If unconstructed, they should be very narrow. Double-breasted coats are also quite effective on you, and that will support your sharp and accurate features. Careful with flouncy coats with gathers and trim, also with peplums. Again, it can look too fussy and busy on you. Be careful with wide, boxy coats. They will look separate from you and can ruin the harmony of your body structure. If you are a gamine, meaning you look short and angular and sharp in bones, with straight body type and delicately sharp facial features, coats look best when they are very fitted with sharp edges and extreme tailoring and construction. Collar, cuff, label, and waistband details, like outlining or trim, are essential. Be careful with long, unconstructed coats. You can get lost in them. Be careful with flouncy coats. Some can make you look too girly, because your bone structure is still pretty sharp. If you are a soft gamine, meaning you look small, a bit fleshy, with smaller but angular bones and doll-like and rounded face with some angularity, some of those can look a bit chubby. Coats should be shapely with lots of detail and trim. Better if they show the waist. They can also have a crisp peplum. Contrasting trim, tapered cuffs and shoulder details are all excellent. Be careful with long coats that hide the waist. It can look like you're trying out your mom's clothes. Be careful with severely straight and tailored coats. Some can look lifeless on you. Careful with unconstructed and boxy coats. Again, it might look like you're lost inside. Be careful with symmetrically tailored and standard coats. They can look too boring and tiring on you unless it has some bright details. If you are a flamboyant gamine, you're smallish, but lean and strong, with angular bones and facial features and pretty straight body, coats look best when they're sculpted and tailored, narrow styles that are close to the body, sharp shoulders. Asymmetric detail and contrasting trim are both excellent touches. Waists can be lowered, but a white stiff belt in a contrasting color would look cool. Be careful with frilly, flouncy coats. It can look slightly separate from you. Be careful with full, unconstructed coats, unless on the bottom you have some skinny silhouette as a contrast. Be careful with traditional symmetrical coats. Just can look too boring and dull on you and make you look tired. Better add some accessories to it. If you are romantic, look smallish, soft and curvy with hourglass figure, delicate bones and full and rounded facial features. And you look really feminine. Coats are best when they are fitted at the waist. Soft styles, feminine and flowing with peplums, nipped in waists and belts are excellent. Labels should be curved and rounded. The more intricate or antique looking your buttons are, the better. Be careful with tailored coats, double-breasted, boxy. They will look separate from you and give the illusion of a stocky body. Be careful with long straight coats that hide the waist. It can blur your silhouette. Same with unconstructed and shapeless coats. Basically, romantic fully consists of the curves, so having a lot of sharp details can kind of cut the eyes, and rounded detail will look altogether head to toe. If you are theatrical romantic, look smallish, with hourglass figure, but with sharper bones and delicate small and sharp facial bones, and at the same time soft features, coats are best when they look feminine and shapely. Defined shoulders, waist emphasis, and intricate detail like shearing, gathers, sparkles, oblique, work best. Soft necklines, tapered wrists are always good. Lighter fabrics with plushness and luscious colors complete the picture. 
Flouncy peplums that hang down in the back can look chic. You are the one who can look really sophisticated and close with ornate trim. Be careful with sharply tailored styles, they can be dull and tiring on you. Careful with unconstructed styles, it can conflict your body elegance. Same with long, no waist styles. Symmetrical, subdued styles sometimes can look too simple. Better add some trim or ornateness to it, or some accessories. If you know the rules, you can break them differently than if you don't know the rules. That makes sense. But to know your shape is essential. For example, me. I am soft gamine. I'm petite. I have pretty much hourglass figure. It's pretty angular at the same time. I have pretty long arms. I have that awkwardness and angularity. That's why I'm different from romantic types, from very rounded and feminine types. So if I get something completely shapeless that will make me look sick, I already tried. That makes me look completely sick. Especially if the colors are dull and blur, like something for tall flamboyant natural girls, like 90s top models. It's like completely opposite. They are tall, they have big shoulders and they have narrow hips. So they can wear a lot of oversized type clothes, doesn't need to accentuate the waist and that will look awesome. For me, it has to be something doll-like. So I myself have three coats overall. One coat is more for dramatic type because it's very straight. I bought this in Zara about six years ago. It's very classic and straight coat and I like it. Yes. It doesn't have any waist accentuate. But I like it because I play with different colors underneath. I'm not very feminine. I have something masculine in my bone structure. So that works perfectly. That men's style that I combine with something girly underneath. Another coat that I'm in love with. First of all, the color is amazing. Rich. Doesn't make me look sick. It has very edgy detail on the bottom. Again, it doesn't have any waist accentuate. Probably I would look better with waist. And the coat number three is my red coat, it's a new one, and it does have that waist accentuation. And I love the color, and I always wanted to have a red coat. I forgot to mention my white coat, but it's more of a cardigan. So sometimes I do get big and bulky coats, so I would be able to layer stuff underneath. And I use contrasted belts sometimes to cut the silhouette to make myself not this big. Underneath I have some waist, I have some color blocks, I have some shorter pants, I have some men boots. Alright, that's it! Thank you so much for watching! Stay tuned for another body type series, because soon we're gonna talk about hats, accessories in general, about glasses for different face shapes and for different body types, and many more. So stay tuned, love you guys, subscribe to my channel, and bye-bye!